My name's Ian Whitaker and I'm going to tell you the truth about cacao and chocolate. As editor of the World Chocolate Awards guidebook, I've researched chocolate and the cacao it comes from, learning firsthand or directly from those who know. So why is it called the Abroma Cacao and why do so many people claim that the name means food of the gods? Actually nobody knows for sure what Theobroma cacao was intended to mean because the guy who gave it the name Theobroma cacao, Linnaeus, he didn't explain to anyone. So the name cacao is not a European given name. Cacao is the original name that the people living in America when the Europeans arrived were calling what we now know as Theobroma cacao. The name Theobroma was given to cacao by Linnaeus in 1753. It really is quite peculiar how the translation food of the gods has become so common and so accepted. And this, the only explanation is that just like some kind of fake news on social media, information has just been copied from some source who didn't themselves know what they were talking about. There's no record of Linnaeus ever disclosing why he chose the word theobroma. So anybody who has ever claimed that they know what theobroma cacao means is making a claim which would be very, very difficult, let's say impossible, to back up. And it's very peculiar that it's so widespread that food of the gods is the standard interpretation and it's just accepted as correct because there's no evidence whatsoever to back it up. In fact, if we use logic and reasoning, if we use Occam's razor, for example, which says that the simplest explanation is usually the correct one, the most simple explanation for Theobroma cacao, literally God food, without adding or subtracting anything, that's exactly what it says. Linnaeus could have easily named cacao with the plural for gods instead of god food, but he named it god food, not god's food. And so to insert that plural there and then say of is to start to add your own words and biases into that equation. Now what could Linnaeus have meant by the words god food? There are only three possible explanations for Theobroma cacao. First of all, we know that he had a sense of humour, he liked to poke fun, he liked to enjoy himself. He named the smelly weed after one of his critics. He also used to name things after favourite people, favourite students, as well as people who he disliked. There was often humour in the names that he gave. So he could have meant, satirically, the food of the rich, the people who could afford to drink cacao people who could afford hot chocolate. They were the upper middle class and the elite. So he was poking fun perhaps, or having a bit of fun when he named it. The second explanation is that he named it God food because he was aware of the cultural heritage of cacao. And he knew that the early Americans actually used it in ceremonies and used it to offer to they, their God or gods. So he had a rough idea of its cultural heritage and he decided to include that in the name. Linnaeus would have known about and read Sir Hans Sloane's famous and successful book about his voyage and stay on the Caribbean islands, namely Jamaica, where he learned all about the culture of cacao in that part of the Americas. And there he took down notes, sketches and samples of various plants, hundreds and hundreds of plants, and eventually brought them back to the UK. They can now be seen in the British Museum in London. Among those was a sketch and also a preserved leaf of cacao. Linnaeus looked at Sir Hans Sloane's collection later and he used that whilst he was naming Theobroma cacao. On the page you can see a dried cacao leaf and very very small cacao flowers. There was also an illustration of a cacao pod. 
So Linnaeus knew what cacao looked like, but there seems to be little influence from the visual form of cacao in the name that he gave it. It seems that he was more influenced by culture when he came to name Theobroma cacao. Linnaeus and Sloan met in person, so Linnaeus was privileged to have a first-hand source of information about culture in that part of the Americas. They even became good enough friends that Linnaeus would later name a tropical tree after Sir Hans Sloan. So the name Theobroma cacao could have been a tribute by Linnaeus to the ancient peoples of America and how they used cacao and the importance that it held in their society because he would have been aware of that to some degree. The third and final explanation for the use of the name Theobroma cacao by Linnaeus is that he could have been using the fact that chocolate tastes so fantastic and he thought it was the supreme food, the ultimate food, and because of its fantastic taste and fantastic popularity, he wanted to call it God food, the supreme food, the ultimate food. And uh, that is very, very probable also. He wanted to say that it was the most prized food. It was one of the most popular foods possible. Uh, people take delight in eating chocolate, in receiving chocolate as a gift and tasting chocolate. It's got a unique flavour that's adored throughout the world.